It's a read aloud with Sue Fleece. Hi everybody, I'm Sue Fleece and I'm the author of this book, Flash and Gleam, Light in Our World. It just came out this March. Um, it's published by Learner Books, Millbrook Press, and it is illustrated by the amazingly talented Kwa Lei. And it is essentially one poem about light and all the forms of light in our world that we interact with every day. Sometimes it's something as simple as sunlight and other times it's something like the 4th of July. So hopefully as I read it, you'll be able to relate to some of the different um, experiences the children in the book have. And now we'll begin. Lights rise, open eyes. So the sunlight's coming in to wake up the children for the day. Sometimes we stretch and yawn, don't we? I know I do. Reach low, nurture, grow. And there's the sunlight coming in on the garden. Do you have a garden? Now might be a good time to start one. Bolt, flash, thunder, crash. Color, bend, find the end. I love a good lightning storm, but I also love rainbows. Glimmer, glow, wish and blow. Blast, beam, let us dream. So she's wishing that she could be an astronaut. What do you wish you could be when you grow up? Fade away, cannot stay. I'm sure you've watched the sunset either over the hills or the ocean. And they're all seeing the same sun because we all live in the same world. Swirl, flow, come and go. And this family's looking at the northern lights, which not everyone can see them all the time, but when you do see them, they are amazing. Flicker, feel, help us heal. Float, guide, far and wide. And they're spotting a lighthouse. They're going to head to the lighthouse. Blink, play, show the way. Have you ever chased a firefly? We're starting to get close to the time where we can start to see them. Shimmer, glance, blaze and dance. Soar, wait, celebrate. And they're all watching fireworks for the 4th of July. I love fireworks. Do you love fireworks? Spark, fly, fill the sky. And this is uh, the Yi Peng Festival, but you can also do this. Um, you can buy these lanterns from craft stores and light them on the beach and somewhere where there's not a lot of trees. And let them fly up in the sky, and it's a really beautiful thing to see. Burst, create, illuminate. So how many of you guys have heard of Diwali? Yeah? So this is a mother and her daughter, and they are preparing a sand drawing and celebrating Diwali. Bless, shine in a line. And there's that boy is um, lighting the menorah for Hanukkah. Dazzle, thrill, spread goodwill. And this family celebrating Christmas. And there's some carolers outside and the dog is very interested in the carolers. And the cat is not, but the cat is resting, waiting for Christmas morning. Gleam bright, say good night. And these kids are all going to sleep under the light of the moon. And then if you check out the book from the library or you order it from your independent bookstore, um, you can read in depth all of the things in the book. The Science of Light talks about lightning and rainbows and what is light and celebrations that have light, fireflies, moonlight.
lots of good stuff in there. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book today. Again, if you do want to order a book, it, please find your local independent bookstore and order from them so we can support them during this crazy time right now. Um, and otherwise, when we can all go back to our libraries, please check it out of your local library and feel free to let me know what you think. All right. Thanks so much, guys. And I hope to be reading some more books soon. Take care. Bye-bye.